Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. All right, so if you are like me, um, my Facebook is blowing up with all the mom tiles, grandma tiles, grandma shirts, mom shirts. So I know I'm late to the game. I've been having issues getting this video out, but I'm going to show you today how to do the um, the one where it says the mom and then the name um, is in that font. I love glitter with the little glyphs. So all right, we're going to get started. Um, so first thing is I'm going to take you out to word market. Okay. So type word mark it dot word mark dot it. And this will give you, um, oh, there, um, you can type in mom and you can see all your fonts now, because we're going to use the, I love glitter, the cursive font, you want just a plain font here. So th this is how you can kind of see. I'm probably just going to use Cambria, but any of these would work and you can go and choose on your own. Okay, so I'm going to hop back over here and give me a second. I'm going to use text and I'm just going to use Cambria because I used it the other day and it just seems like good old font that we can use, right? So I'm going to show you three different ways to do this. So I'm going to leave that here. Let's duplicate it, duplicate it. So we're going to have three different versions for you to choose from, okay? Then let's bring another text box. And this is I Love Glitter. And I'll show you how to do that. So, um, all right. So I'm going to type in my daughter's name. But... Uh, what you want to do is you you should be able to see my text box. Um, this is the bracket that's to the right of the letter P. Oops, sorry. So that gives you that. And then Charlotte. And then if you wanted a heart, um, there's two hearts. There's a closed heart and an open heart. So the closed heart is, I believe, it's the underscore sign. Oh, that's the open heart. The closed heart is the straight up sign. And that's the key that is with the backslash key, okay? And then to have the other glyph at the end, you would do the close close up your bracket. So can you see this? I'm gonna copy this for a second. And I'm gonna put it in a different text box. I wonder if that will give me... Sorry, I'm recording over there and so like it just doesn't let me access everything. Let me go back to Cambria. so that you can see how to get this. So this in I Love Glitter is this, okay? So it's the bracket, the name, underscore gives you this, this straight line gives you this, and then the other end of the bracket gives you the other swirl, okay? Now, as you can see, I hate, ugh, I know, design space, I love design space, but at the same time, it never connects your letters, right? So I do like to use this. This is Font Lab Pad. It's free. Google it. And what it does is, for instance, uh, let me do a recent font. So the I Love Glitter, right? And then what it does is it just types in everything for you. So for instance, I was doing this so that we could um, practice our tiles. So you can see it just does it for you. And then you click on this um, pick list save as and you're ending up saving it as an SVG file. So because I've done these, I'm also going to upload it just so that you can see it. I'm not going to, um, what you would do is you would ungroup and then individually move all of these over. The other thing though I do wanna show you is, so let's say you connect all these, right? And I'm only gonna connect a few letters because this will take too long and no one wants to watch it. So I'm going to delete all of this. Let's just pretend we also want this. Okay, so this is if you wanted another name. That's what everyone's been doing, right? And then you bring this over, and it's all connected, and it looks good to you, right? But wrong. <laughs> so because it's black, you can't really see, right? So I'm going to make it really, really big so you can see this. And I'm also going to change the color so that um, it's more visible. So this is what would happen, and hold on, let me send some of these letters to the back. Now, while visually this may not bother you or you think it's not a big deal, but in actuality, what it will look like is this. 
Um, let me see. Oops. And I'm sending all these to the back so that you could see each one of these. What would happen is this little ligature, it will cut as a ligature into the C. The C will cut, it will go into your H. The H will go into the A. As you can see, this is not good, right? Well, first of all, you, you do wanna make it really big so you can see um, you don't want this to go past your C, right? But now what you should do is grab all of this and weld so it becomes one piece. And you can see we could have worked on where to connect it, but you don't have to worry about connecting it if you just did it in Font Lab Pad, right? Because then you can just go to upload and you can upload these and hold, okay. And what you get is this. See, it comes in all together and give me a second, go throw it away. Okay, so it comes in like this. So let me get rid of this. Hopefully you already have this and so now you know how to get that on your own, okay? Um, so what I would do is, if you're doing a lot of shirts, I would type it all out and then I would bring it in here and um, I'm gonna show you something. Let's ungroup it. And I wonder if I'll get the glitch today, but let's say, you know, this, now you need to weld it, right? Oh, and it does. Okay, so this happened to me last night. You're just like, what happened? It should, this is a glitch, it sh this should not happen. So just undo it. And um, what I find is a lot of times if I make this super big, and hopefully it won't, um, it'll follow along with what I'm saying. Let's weld it now. Okay, it still didn't, but hold on. Um, yesterday I ended up making it like 56 inches um, and it was fine. So let me make this really big. Okay, that's only 30 inches, but let's see if that works. So that almost worked, but it still filled in our, our E, right? So let's undo it and grab our letters. And let's just go up here and let's change it to 50, okay? And then let's weld it and see if it works this time. And it worked, right? So it's a sucky workaround, but nonetheless, it's a workable one. So let's change that back to, let's say 10 inches. Go back over here. So here's our Charlotte and here's mom. So I would make the two um, of somewhat equal length, right? And then uh, what you're seeing usually with the tiles is the dark color for the mom, and then the name of the kids is in a different color. So let's make this um, like a light blue just so that you can see it. And so what I would do is, you know, place it somewhere here, grab the two items and align and you wanna center horizontally. So you just wanna make sure everything is perfectly centered. Now that you have these two items, I would slice it. Oh, you know what, I hold on, undo, undo. <laughs> what you wanna do is you wanna make a copy of, your, of this. Okay, so there's the Charlotte. Now grab these two and slice it. So what we're gonna do is we're basically, we sliced out Charlotte from mom, and then you could just go in and put Charlotte in there, okay? Um, there. To me, this is a little bit hard to read. Um, I, I don't, um, I don't love it. But you know, I'm going to show you the others so that you can decide. So that's what it would look like. If you didn't slice it, then what would happen is you would have the bomb in black, and in some areas, this blue is going to lay on top of the black. Um, I think that's fine on a tile block, but on your shirt or something that you can feel more, um, there's going to be a little bump there. Like this, this part will be a little bit higher than the rest of the H and the A right here. So that's why I slice it out. I definitely prefer that method. Okay. So let's get rid of these two. Now your other option is, oh, hold on. Let's, um, there. Let's duplicate that because we're going to do another version of this, right? This is the one that I was just telling you about. Um, or maybe I'll give you four options. 
Yes. Um, so here's your second option, which is literally just placing this on top of that, okay? All right, we got two more options to do. Let's duplicate that. Let's duplicate this so that we have it to work with. Okay. All right, our next one is, let's go to shape and let's bring in a square. This one, um, I know I'm being so biased right now because I'm telling you which one I prefer. I definitely prefer the last two methods, okay? Because <laughs> I think, I definitely, this is my least favorite because it's kind of uneven. Some parts are sitting on black vinyl. Um, this is my second least favorite. <laughs> And then um, this one, let's see, let me move these out of the way a little bit. All right, this one, what we will do is we will actually slice out a whole rectangular piece so that it's easier to read the name Charlotte, okay? So because I want a rectangle, I want to unlock this and then you know shape it the way I want. Like, let's say we're gonna take out the mom like this, okay? So you grab the two items and you slice, and we're gonna get rid of this. So now you have a more of a blank area so that it's easier to read the name Charlotte. So here's mom, and let's bring down Charlotte. Okay. So that's your third option. Your last option is this. Now the last option is only gonna work if you use ink space because we're gonna use an offset. And this is what this is what I have over here. So let's ungroup this. And so you can see I have all the different ways that I did it. And then, um, there. So I'm gonna do Charlotte because that's the one that we've been doing. So let me, oh, I can't ungroup this, okay. Give me a second. Let's go to shapes again and bring in a square. This is all coming in as one connected image. So what I wanna do is let's slice out this thing because I want Charlotte by itself, okay? And you can see I'm in a lot of traffic right here. As long as my cursor is only picking up the two items, which right now it is, it will allow me to, to um, slice out the word Charlotte or the name Charlotte. Okay, so here's Charlotte. Um, let's make this big. So that looks like about the size, right? Let's grab our last mom up here. And let's just get rid of all this clutter, okay? And we'll put this mom, oops. Put this mom up here. Okay, so you know that I don't like these two because I think the name is hard to read. So what we would do is you would take the offset and you would slice out the offset. And that way, when you put the name in, there's a little white border all around the name. So it makes it a little bit easier to read. Um, now don't mind me on here. I wasn't paying attention in Inkscape, so I didn't do a 100% good offset. Um, but grab the two items you want to align, center horizontally, and then slice. So let's delete that. Oops, let me undo that, sorry. Um, I'll turn that into blue. And so see, I messed up here. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, but you get the picture. So now you have like that. Now, if you don't like this little black in here, those are easy to get out. You click on mom and you go to contour and you can get rid of those little dots. Just select it to remove it. And I think that gets all of it, yeah. And then there's Charlotte. So let me get rid of this, and then let's see if we can get a better view of these two things. Make this a little bit smaller.
<laughs> make this bigger now so you can read it. So those are your four options of doing it. I hope that helps. And I'm sorry it's Friday. Like you have two days to make this. Um, but all right, for next year. <laughs> all right, good night, guys.